Welcome to our YouTube channel. Have you ever heard that just hearing some people's names can make people panic? They are the worst, unimaginable criminals in the history of the world. Today we're going to dig the past about such a person. So our topic is the Golden State Killer, the untold story of a notorious serial killer. Joseph James D'Angelo, a former police officer who was born on 8th of November 1945, and this man is responsible for at least 13 murders, 51 rapes and 120 burglaries across the California between 1974 and 1986. He's not only a serial killer, but also a serial rapist and a burglar. No matter how many crimes were committed, police spent decades to identify the real suspect. D'Angelo was born as the son of Kathleen Louise D. Grote and Joseph James D'Angelo, a sergeant in US Army with two sisters and a younger brother in Bath, New York. According to the relative reports, there are evidence to prove that he was abused by their father while growing up. After completing his school life, he entered the United States Navy in September 1964. This was not an innocent young man, but a child who committed burglaries and tortured and killed animals during his teenage years. But after serving 22 months in Vietnam War as a damage controlman and a destroyer, he attends Sierra College in Rockland, California and graduated with an associate degree in police science and honors. Then he earned a bachelor's degree in criminal justice at Sacramento University and completed the postgraduate at College of the Sequoias in Visalia. Roseville is the place that he completed his 32 weeks police internship. At the time of service, he was arrested for shoplifting a hammer, the dog repellent, and was sentenced to six months of probation and fired on October 1979. During the process of being fired, D'Angelo threatened to kill the chief of police and allegedly stalked the chief's house. Now let's focus on his marriage and relationships. D'Angelo engaged with nursing student Bonnie Jean Colwell, who was a classmate at Sierra's college but she broke it off because of the manipulative and abusive actions of D'Angelo. He was super annoyed that he attempted to force her to marry him by threatening her with a gun. But however, he finally married Sharon Marie Huddle of Citrus Heights, where he was arrested decades later. They had three daughters. They separated in 1991, but after the several months of D'Angelo's arrest, Huddle filed for divorce, and it was finalized in 2019. If we look about his crimes... This serial killer shot and killed Professor Claude Snelling in front of his daughter and kicked the daughter three times in the face and then fled. FBI records said that the Golden State Killer would break into the victims' homes by prying open a window and door while they slept. Sometimes he took jewellery, identification, money and coins from the victims' homes. Brian and Katie Maguire were some of the other victims of the D'Angelo. They were shot and killed in February 1978 while they were walking their dog in the Sacramento area. This demonic person loved to attack couples, tie up both, rape the female and then murder both of them. Deborah Manning and Robert Offerman were also his victims, who were killed in Goleta, near Santa Barbara, on 30th of December 1979. Lyman and Charlene Smith in March 1980, Keith and Patrice Harrington in August 1980, Manuela Withern, on 5th February 1981, Jerry Domingo and Gregory Sanchez in July 1981 were also killed by this terrific serial killer. There were no crimes from 1981 July until May 1986, and in May 1986, an 18-year-old girl, Janella Cruz, was killed as his last known crime. Even after such a large number of crimes, police were not able to find the convict. The reason may be due to the fact that he made good use of what he learned while working in the police to cover up crimes. But no matter how hard one tries, the truth can never be conquered forever. If a crime is committed, it will surely be punished. D'Angelo's name came up for the first time in investigation in 2018. He had become the first public arrest obtained through genetic genealogy, which was a new technology that takes the DNA of an unknown suspect left behind at a crime scene and identifies them by tracing family tree through his family members who voluntarily submit their DNA to public genealogy database. No matter how skilled a criminal is, a slightest mistake can happen. DNA of D'Angelo was found from a tissue that left in the trash. Investigators plugged his discarded DNA back into the genealogy database and found a match, which helped to find out the Golden State Killer. 
D'Angelo was arrested in April 2018 in Sacramento country. According to the guilty plea in court reports, he said that I did all those things, I destroyed all those lives. On June 29, 2020, D'Angelo pleaded guilty to 13 counts of first-degree murder and also multiple uncharged acts including rapes. After all, 75-year-old D'Angelo was sentenced to 26 life sentences in a California prison. In November 2020, D'Angelo was transferred to the North Kern State Prison. As of February 2021, D'Angelo is incarcerated in protective custody at California State Prison, Corcoran. What is surprising is that after committing many crimes, he was a perfect father for his three daughters. Neither his wife nor his children ever suspected that he was the Golden State Killer. This is a perfect example that you can never measure a person by looking at external appearance, behavior and education. So thank you for joining with us. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more updates.